Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Shono here. Pop to give you another WWE Immortals video. And in this video, we're going to go by the step-by-step -step process in order to actually make the new pack show up. So when you go into the store, as you can see, these are the only packs that are actually available. If you try to log in and out of your account, it's not going to work. So what you're going to want to do is close the game out and uninstall it. If you're familiar with Injustice Gods Among Us patch 2.6, it's the exact same process. So we're going to go into WWE Immortals in the iTunes Store. And you can also do this on Android as well. So we're going to, lo we're going to re download the game. And once we've downloaded it, we're going to go open the game and re log in. Now it's very important to take the following steps once you do this. All right, so now that WWE Immortals is re-downloaded, we're going to re-log into our WBID now that the game is freshly reinstalled. And we're going to restore the ghosted packs that disappear like a minute after you log into WBID. So now this is a two-step process that is very important. This is how you can actually choose what you get out of these packs, which are entirely the random. Endless. Well, I don't like doing this when I'm actually making YouTube videos. I do like to do it in order to show off certain things like with Evolve Sheamus, Evolve Roman Reigns, and Sharpshooter Bret Hart that I actually got from the first pack. So the images again are blocked just like in Mortal Kombat X or Classic Sub-Zero. So you log into your account, it tells you to use the online save, and you have to confirm that. Don't hit your game save or else you're just gonna rewrite everything. So now you're gonna wanna go into the store and you see that all the packs immediately become available. Now at this point here, you want to go into airplane mode and you want to turn that on. The reason this is severely important is because these packs are offline, but in order to save your game to the cloud, you have to be connected to the internet. So if you don't like what you pick, now you can actually turn that off and it won't actually save. So when you try to log into WBID, it doesn't make a cloud save and you're fine. So we're going to open up three Triple H's Ultimate Immortals packs within this video. So in the first Triple H's Ultimate Immortals pack, we receive a Mad Scientist Bray Wyatt. In the second Triple H's Ultimate Immortals pack, we receive a Mad Scientist Bray Wyatt, and this is considered the booby prize. In the third pack, we receive an Evolved Sheamus, so that would be the second one that we've got. Now there's also rumors of an A-list Johnny Cage. I have not pulled him yet, although I have pulled Roman Reigns and Bret Hart. So going into the collection, and now you can see that the cards are gone from the store, so you pretty much have to do that like right away when you log in. So right when you log in, go right to the store, don't do anything else, don't try to go into a battle, don't do anything. Immediately go into the store or these packs will go away. So for curiosity's sake, Sheamus is at Legendary 1 now, so Sheamus. if we were to promote him, damage would go from 4,848 to 7,272. Health would go from 6,061 to 9,092. So now what we're going to do is, because we did not get the results we wanted, we're going to uninstall the game. So deleting the Immortals will delete all of its data. Now what you do is tear airplane mode back off. And then you go and re-download the game right there. So we'll be back again in just a minute.
All right, so now that we've re-downloaded the game for the second time, we're going to go back into WW Mortals and show you the whole process again. Again, it's very important to note you have to do this pretty much immediately once you log in or the packs will not show up. If you're familiar with Injustice Patch 2.6, it's the same procedure. You have to log in and the Arkham packs will show up. In this case, these packs would show up. Again, we log into our, to our cloud save. So again, you go into the store, as you see, the packs again show up. So we go into airplane mode, and now we turn it off, and now we're back into the game. So now we're going to try to get the fast lane gear. So in the first Stephanie McMahon's gear vault, we received a Royal Rumble gear ember, which we just got. In the second gear vault, we received Extreme Rules, which is the best gear item for the pay-per-views and the third gear vault we received money in the bank so I have never landed a three-star gear item or even the tickets with this so I think it's limited to all of the online season gear but it's some pretty good shit so now if you try to sell and go to the booster packs they all just disappear so again it shows that if it shows up for a brief time and then disappears, you need to log in immediately after doing so, and then the packs will show up. So if you like this video showing how to restore ghosted packs and how to bring them back once they go away, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favor, check out my other WWE Immortals videos, my playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shono. And if this video helped you out feel free to give a subscription or even donate to the paypal account to research more things and tips and little tricks down the road have a wonderful day kids www.youtube.com slash hollywood show now subscribe bitches